Do you feel like you've lost your way? Are you overwhelmed and anxious on a daily basis? Do you feel like you're too stressed out to enjoy life? If so, you've landed in the right place. The Gratitude to Bliss show is about stressing less and feeling blessed. It's about figuring out what matters most, letting go of what doesn't, and creating a life that makes you feel happy and alive. I'm Lorraine Miller, mom, health coach, award-winning author, infertility survivor, and recovering stressaholic. And I'm on a mission to help you overcome overwhelm, improve your health, and find your bliss. The best part, it's so easy to get started. The Gratitude to Bliss show starts now. Hello, and welcome to the Gratitude to Bliss show, the place to be to get your vitamin G. I'm Lorraine Miller, and I'm really looking forward to today's show. It's going to be a lot of fun. We are going to be talking about lifestyle. And what I want to share with you is that when you bring gratitude into your life in a big way, it affects everything else in your life. So that's what we're going to talk about today because lifestyle really is what sets us up for success. And when you have a lifestyle that's based in gratitude, you are bringing strength, you are bringing positivity, you are bringing health, you are bringing relationships, you are bringing so much to the table that really helps you succeed in life. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the conversation around success has been changing. It's kind of been brewing for a while, but it's really coming to the surface now that success isn't the same anymore. It isn't just about making money and having a successful career. It's more about our health and our relationships and having balance. That is what the conversation is about. And it's also about avoiding stress and burnout. So successful people are doing this. They are finding balance. They're finding joy. They're having successful careers. They're success successful in, you know, their finances, but it's so much more. They're doing things to stay healthy. They are just feeling good on a, on a regular basis. So it's important to think about what your definition of success is. What does success mean to you and how do you achieve that? Now, just to share a little bit with you about my personal journey, I have had my, my um, fair share of struggles. I first discovered a gratitude practice when I was going through infertility. But even before that, I suffered from mild depression and anxiety. Uh, there was a period where I was very lonely I had a major breakup in my mid-20s, and I had a hard time recovering from that. But eventually, I found my way, and I started on a journey where I really started living with intention. And I read this book by Deepak Chopra called The Path to Love, and it was really impactful for me because I started to focus on the importance of putting my self first and really having an appreciation for myself. And from there, I set an intention on the kind of person I wanted to meet and, and marry and met my husband. And he's many, many of the things that I was looking for. And it was amazing to me how powerful it can be to live this way, to live with intention and to really connect to your spirit. So it started this spiritual journey for me. And 
then I went through infertility and that was a struggle and a lot of the difficult emotions started surf surfacing again, the anxiety and the depression and feeling stuck and, and feeling like a victim. And it was during that time that I discovered the power of a gratitude practice. And since then, I have to say, I've still had struggles, but once I started shifting my thoughts to what was working in my life, to what was good in my life, what was positive and hopeful, I protected myself from spiraling down. My gratitude practice helped me spiral up out of depression during a very, very difficult time in my life, but it's also helped me stay up there. If I would have a bad day, that happens. I might feel gloomy um, or down, but I didn't stay stuck there because your gratitude practice is something that will pull you up out of that. It will help you spiral up. It will help you stay in a positive place. And when you really embrace it and bring it into your life, it's a beautiful thing. So that's what I want to talk about today. How do you do that? How do you really go like full stop, just bringing gratitude into every area of your life? So it's actually easier than you think. And I talk about this in episode one of the show. So if you haven't seen episode one, go back and definitely listen to that because I walk you through a very simple gratitude practice I call vitamin G. And I'll just briefly go through it now. But you basically you write down five things every day that you're grateful for. And you focus on the feeling. Whatever that feeling is, if it's gratitude, if it's appreciation, if it's joy, something that you write down gives you joy or you feel happy or fun or excited, whatever positive emotion you can find from the things that you're writing down, that's what you want to practice. You want to practice putting yourself in that feeling. And that is the power of this practice I call vitamin G. It's the special sauce. And we're going to talk about how you can bring that in into your life. So first of all, one of the things that I recommend when you start a gratitude practice or when you're restarting, let's say you already have a strong gratitude practice, you can do this at any time, is really set an intention for what you want your practice to bring you. And by doing this, you are creating that clarity around what you want for your life. And the more clear you are on what you want and why and how you want to feel, the easier it is for those things to find you. And that's how you create the success that you want in your life. You first have to know what your version of success is. So you may think that it's one thing. You may think, for example, that you want to travel around the world and that means you're successful because that's something you've always wanted to do. But that may not be something that you want to do forever. And so you may want to experience that and that's great. And just know that it's, it's not just the thing that you want, but how do you want to feel? Does traveling around the world make you feel excited? Does it make you feel like your life is fulfilling and purposeful? Or is it going to drain you? Is it going to take away from your relationships, from your family? And it can be different things at different times So in your life. So that's just one example of why it's important to really focus on the feeling. Because if you can really zero in on how you want to feel in your life, then you may not know exactly how you're going to achieve the things that you want, but you'll know 
as soon as something comes into your life, an opportunity, a person, a job, um, an opportunity to travel, for example, you'll start trusting your feelings around it because you're already connected to the feeling you want to have. You already know how you want to feel. And then when those opportunities show up, it becomes very clear that that's something you want and that's something you want to go for. And that's something that fits into your version of success. So setting an intention is crucial. And then just start practicing gratitude. Like it's seriously as easy as that. When I first started practicing gratitude, I had such a playful attitude about it. I was in a tough spot in my life. I was feeling awful, but this was something fun. This lifted me up. This helped me get out of bed in the morning. This helped me just feel like I was doing something for myself. I was taking care of myself. And, and my husband noticed such a positive change in me. And so did I, like in a matter of weeks, I just started feeling more like me. I started going out more. I started doing things I love. I became a health coach during that time. And it really has been such a gift in my life. So I can't speak enough about it. So lifestyle really is what sets us apart when it comes to health and happiness. So creating a lifestyle that supports your version of success is critical to getting there, to having what you want. And what you want might, might be to just feel calm on a daily basis, to feel joy, right? That can be success. Just waking up feeling grateful. I wake up every morning so excited for the day and so grateful. And that wasn't always the case for me. There were many days where it was hard to get out of bed. And if I can turn that around, anybody can and you can. So if you're stuck in a rut and life feels like a struggle, if the stress is getting to, to be too much, just know that you can turn this around. I believe gratitude is the antidote to stress. And it's also a catalyst for joy and love and happiness. So there's three areas of what I call the vitamin G lifestyle. The first area is mindset. And that of course, starts with setting your intention and practicing gratitude every day. And you don't need to spend a lot of time doing this. You, you do need to spend some time setting your intention. You can journal about it. But the practice itself really only takes five minutes a day. So committing to that five minutes a day um, can be really, really powerful. And then the second area of the vitamin G lifestyle is health. And health is something that goes hand in hand with happiness. So that's why it's such an important part of this. And having um, a background in health coaching, that's something that I'm very passionate about, helping people improve their health and also for myself, staying healthy and helping my family be healthy. So when you practice gratitude every day, what starts happening is you start appreciating yourself, you start appreciating your body, and you start appreciating those good positive feelings. And you want to nurture those. You, you want to make those feelings grow and be a bigger part of your life. So you're naturally going to start making choices that support those feelings. And those choices are healthy choices. So you start appreciating your food. You start appreciating what you put in your body. You start noticing what foods make you feel good and what foods may be sabotaging your health. And it's, it's not hard and it's not complicated. It's very subtle even that this will just start to naturally happen. 
if you're doing the practice regularly. Exercise. People who practice gratitude report exercising more. And we all know what exercise can do, not only for our physical health, but for our mental and emotional health. So gratitude helps you prioritize exercise. Drinking water. So many of us are walking around dehydrated and we're not getting enough water. And that's a simple thing that we can do to improve our health. And when you practice gratitude, you can think of something you're grateful for every time you take a sip of water. I'm going to do that right now, actually. And you really bring a mindfulness into your food, drinking water, exercise. And this is like a trickle down effect. So gratitude just starts slowly seeping into everything you do and you start making better choices. You might um, be tired a lot and you might start appreciating your sleep more and going to bed earlier and getting up earlier and, um, you know, exercising in the morning and doing all those lifestyle things that are important to your success. And then the third area is self-love. Without self-love, it's, it's impossible, in my opinion, to be successful in life. It's impossible to have healthy relationships. It's impossible to be physically healthy, emotionally healthy, mentally healthy. So there's nothing like gratitude to help you appreciate yourself and to prioritize things that bring you joy. So we start with mindset, and that is really the foundation for the other two areas. Mindset comes first, then health, and then self-love. And this happens naturally, but you can also take advantage of some of the tools that I offer that will help you create this for yourself. And I'll talk about that in, in a little bit. Um, so what happens when you don't have a healthy mindset? If you don't have a healthy mindset, you can be vulnerable to stress, sickness, illness, um, loneliness, burnout. Having a healthy mindset is what helps you stay strong because anytime Anytime you're living your life, really, there's going to be challenges. There's going to be stress. There's going to be conflict. But when you have a strong mindset in place, you're better able to handle those struggles, those challenges with strength. And when you don't, it's easier to fall apart. It's easier to spiral down. And it's also easier to, you know, fall out of the routine of those, those healthy habits that you want for yourself. So mindset is so important. Um, and then from there, you start doing things that support your health and you really start to put yourself first. That's another big component. Um, it's not selfish to put yourself first. It's actually the thing that is the greatest gift you could give to everyone else in your life is to put yourself first. Because when you put yourself first and you fill your cup, then you are able to show up and serve everyone else in your life that you care about. If you don't do that, you can be resentful. You can experience fatigue and burnout and feel depleted and not be any good for anyone else. So practicing self-gratitude is a big part of vitamin G and it really is one of the best strategies for really having a successful life. So I want to talk a little bit about my coaching program. I have a group coaching program called Calm, Healthy, and Stress-Free. And 
it's a great way to bring gratitude into your life in a big way and to really embrace the vitamin G lifestyle that I'm speaking about. And this program helps you, first of all, develop the strong mindset that sets you up for success. In the program, we talk about setting up a morning routine that helps you win your day. And if, when you do that, it's amazing how you can set the tone for the rest of the day. And when you set a positive tone for the day, you're actually attracting more good things into your life. It's like you're setting your lens that you see the world to a positive setting so that you don't fall into victim mode. Um, and then we move into health. We, we work on nutrition, we set goals and we work on lifestyle changes. And I give you strategies that will help you reach the, the level of success that you, you want for yourself so that you can have the mental clarity and, um, and calmness and sense of purpose that, that you want. So over 40 million Americans are experiencing anxiety. And that is just astonishing. But a lot of this has to do with lifestyle. So there's something called true anxiety and false anxiety. True anxiety is anxiety that comes from stress. It comes from trauma. It comes from behavioral issues and it can come from grief. False anxiety is anxiety that is rooted in lifestyle. It can be from poor sleep. It can be from poor nutrition, from not exercising, from overworking, too much screen time. All of these things that are everywhere, hard to avoid, these pitfalls, are contributing to a lot of the anxiety that we're experiencing. And we don't even realize it. We think it's all in our head, but it really is in our body. It's an imbalance in the body. So that's why it's so important to have, first of all, have a strong mindset. And then second of all, really look at lifestyle and look at where your diet may be off, where your sleep is off and where your work schedule is off. And this can be this can be tough when we're stressed and busy and running around. It's so much easy to just grab takeout, to work into the night, get up early, do it again until one day we wake up and we're so drained and so depleted that we just can't do it anymore. And that's when we say, okay, now I need to fix this. And we might seek therapy. We might take um, a sabbatical. I mean, there's so many things we can do, but I want to help you turn this around so it doesn't get to that point. And if it has gotten to that point, then I want to help you get back on track. So my program, Calm, Healthy, and Stress-Free, is my offering to help you do that, really help you find ways to create the strongest mindset you can, create the healthiest habits you can, and to really learn to love yourself so that you can commit to doing the things that you want to do. And do it in a way that's not overwhelming, not stressful, and you feel supported. So another great thing about my program is that it's a community. It's a community of people who are struggling with stress and overwhelm and anxiety and maybe depression and um, feeling overworked and depleted. And we come together and we support each other 
and we work on our individual goals and we create this lifestyle that is rooted in gratitude. So everything I teach in the program has a basis in gratitude. It has vitamin G there for us. Vitamin G, the reason I call it vitamin G is because it's simple and easy to do. It's just like taking a vitamin, but it's so incredibly nourishing. So we work on mindset, we work on health, and we work on self-love. And I invite you to, to come and have a breakthrough session with me on Zoom, a free 30-minute breakthrough session where we will look at what you are struggling with and where you can make some changes in your life so that you can start living your version of success. So I'm going to put in the show notes how to sign up for that breakthrough call. And I'm going to share with you how you can take advantage of this group program so that you can get on a path to living calm, healthy, and stress-free. Now, we have a little bit of time, so I want to end with the wheel of gratitude like I always do to help you find a different thing today to focus on um, when it comes to gratitude. So Emily, my producer, is going to spin the wheel of gratitude for us. Emily, can you let us know what it lands on? Okay, today the wheel landed on nature. Nature. So nature is an amazing way to clear your mind and actually reset your brain. Um, It's incredibly rejuvenating. There have been studies that show that, you know, just spending time in nature really does calm the nervous system and clear those, those pathways that help you have mental clarity that you need. Um, So just close your eyes if you can, or if you're driving or walking, don't close your eyes, but just take a moment to think about how nature nourishes you. Think about your favorite place to go when you want to just get away and enjoy all the gifts nature has, the sounds, the smells, and the vibration of nature, if you're by the ocean, if you're in a forest, and just really appreciate nature today. And if you can, get outside and enjoy this amazing gift. Thank you so much for listening today. Um, It was really um, such a treat for me to be able to share with you about the vitamin G lifestyle how you can bring it into your life in a big way. This is the Gratitude to Bliss show, the place to be to get your vitamin G. I'm your host, Lorraine Miller. And remember, I love you. Take your vitamin G. Thank you for listening to the Gratitude to Bliss show, the place to be to get your vitamin G. In today's stressful world, you need an attitude of gratitude to stay healthy and positive. And the vitamin G practice I teach is the best way to make sure you get your daily dose. Join me, Lorraine Miller, every first and third Friday at 1230 Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. And let gratitude improve your health, relationships, career, and so much more. Get excited at gratitudetobliss.com. I love you. Take your vitamin G. Are you ready to wake up every day feeling grateful and alive and excited about your life? Are you no longer willing to tolerate feeling anxious, stressed, and overwhelmed on a regular basis? If so, then you're ready for calm, healthy, and stress-free. My three-month group coaching program where we work on mindset, nutrition, and lifestyle to help you boost your mood, gain focus, increase your energy, and get back to being you. 
I'm Lorraine Miller and I'm living my dream life. I want to help you do the same without stress, anxiety, and overwhelm getting in your way. Join Calm, Healthy, and Stress-Free. You'll connect with others who will support you through the power of community and be on your way to loving life every day. Visit gratitudetobliss.com slash group coaching to learn more.